Welcome back to The Gray Escape. Since my last video was so short, I decided to do a second video this week. The footage for this video is actually quite old. I uh, decided to take advantage of a little bit of time when the bus was in the shop and use it to complete a smaller project that needed to get done. So in this video, we're going to be refurbishing an old oven and stove that I'm gonna be using in my build. Let's do it. I got this camp stove off Marketplace and I uh, paid less than half of what they're charging for these new. It has never been used, but it was sitting in somebody's garage for a really long time. So it has a bunch of paint spackles on the top here and a little bit of like rusted areas. Um, so I have taped it off. I'm going to sand it a little bit and then I'm going to spray it. I have taped off the areas that I want to paint. The idea of painting it is basically to stop it from further rusting. So the areas that had the rust are a little bit pitted. I'm not really worried about the surface being super smooth. I just wanna make sure that the rust will not uh, spread. After sanding, I went around with some Cora Seal, which goes on white, and where it reacts with rust, it turns black and where it doesn't it's just basically clear this top area is a matte black but this area is a very shiny black and when i went to the store to look at the high heat options that they had they really only had matte black for the high heat option and i did not want to paint this part matte black or that part matte black so I found this, which is an engine enamel for painting car engines, and it is good up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm never gonna be cooking anything at over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think that that'll do, and it's nice and shiny and should match everything. So I repainted the top of this oven and I had an issue where, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the top has like crackled on me a little bit. So it's not a smooth surface. I started sanding it back down. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that screw out and hopefully be able to remove this, take this off, pull this whole top off and strip this back down to the bare metal so that I can paint it properly. Okay, so this is one of those uh, burners that has been removed. It was really, really difficult to remove it because you basically have to stick your hand in here and you have zero space to work. But when you do get it out, that is the only thing holding it in. And you'll wonder why it took you 20 minutes to figure out how to remove a single screw. Um, this part just slides over the propane that's coming in, which I find a little odd, but they're both the same. So now that those are out, I can remove these, which shouldn't be so hard. And then I should be able to pull this top off and finally work on it. Okay, so this is a 14 millimeter and it's super easy to unscrew. There we go. There's this 
nut and this little washer. Make sure to keep those together. Now I've already taken the screws off the side of this thing. There's two in the back and then one on each side. So it should, should just lift off. Nice. got off all of the paint that I added and some of the original uh, paint that was on here. Um, I used mineral spirits, uh, sandpaper, my hand sander, my oscillating tool with a sanding pad on it. I used some 80 grit, some 60 grit, and uh, some acetone. So when you flip it over, you can see in here there was some rust. Uh, so I went ahead and scraped that with a wire brush and cleaned the whole inside of this thing with acetone. I'm going to use some Cora Seal to convert that rust into primer. And I'm going to paint the top first because I'm not quite sure how much paint I have left and then whatever's left I'm going to spray on the inside of here to try and prevent any further rust from forming. <laughs> This project took a little longer than anticipated and it was a little more complicated than I thought at first. But now the stove is ready to be installed as soon as I actually finish the bus and have a kitchen to put it in. Thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll catch you next time on The Gray Escape.